If I were to list some of the unhealthy things I think are in this world, I would probably say TikTok, pornography, Hitler, people who say they have too much anxiety to call in the takeout order, and Family Guy. I seriously agree with most of those. Family Guy was kind of a joke, but Peter has been showing up in some format for pretty much my entire life. My brother watched it when I was a baby. I watched it growing up. And as somebody who doesn't even have cable anymore, I still find myself watching short clips on TikTok, Instagram reels, YouTube shorts, or whatever new short form content pits that our attention spans have never reformed to call normal nowadays. This fat family man is literally timeless. He has somehow found a way to survive most multiple media apocalypses with almost no scratches. Before you freak out, that's not real. Just a really bad Justin Rowland joke. I'm sure you stumbled across a Family Guy clip in the past. If you haven't, you're lying, and I'm sure you've watched it. You haven't, you're lying. If you're gonna act stupid, then let me break it down for you. They're typically constructed like this. Top half of the screen, Family Guy clip. Bottom half of the screen, some stupid ass money grab game. And I mean some really, really stupid game. They could just as easily have put some cinematic masterpiece that touches the viewer on an emotional level. A meaningful piece of video game content that has been praised by some of the most renowned critics to ever live. Caesar actually called this game great, and it has been ignored by the unknowing peasants that produce this content. I'm disgusted. These are typically the type of games that'll say your wife will cheat on you if you don't reach level 30 by Thursday, or something like that. I don't really know what the point of it is. My first thought would be to avoid copyright infringements. We've seen things like that happen before, or maybe they just want to make it look more pleasant. It looks a lot better when it's in a full screen and not just a small video. But I personally think that this is a genius marketing scheme by the company. I would love to picture the headquarters of legendary mobile game developer Voodoo as they're about to launch their next hit game, Make a Sandwich, when all of a sudden somebody in the way back raises their hand and says, Family Guy? I find that having both the game and the Family Guy clip is just enough minimal stimulation to have me watching for the entire video. One minute I'll be watching Carter dancing, walking, and rearranging furniture, and right when I'm about to lose interest, I'm captivated into seeing just how many bananas this katana can slice through. The formula is uncrackable. I, I don't know how to describe it, but this is just the algorithm now. It truly is almost hypnotic. You find yourself mindlessly watching clip after clip, game after game, and even if you snap out of this trance after watching a handful of clips, it's already too late. You have entered the Family Guy Pipeline. TikTok has a very delicate yet very powerful algorithm in giving the viewer what they want to see. Sometimes you might not think you want certain pieces of content, but some metrics within TikTok say you do. All that TikTok cares about is keeping a viewer on their platform for as long as possible. And right now, ringing throughout TikTok headquarters, all you could hear is... Seems today that all you see is violence in movies and sex on TV. Many people claim, me included, that after just watching a handful of Family Guy clips, all they get fed is Family Guy. Just misadventure after misadventure with Peter and the gang that they just can't seem to stop watching. The funny thing is, is that I've watched Family Guy for a very long time, probably every episode up until 2015 and I still watch these clips. I know exactly what's gonna happen. Uh, oh, you ready for it? Uh, Who wants chowder? Who wants chowder? <laughs> <laughs> this created the trending search term on TikTok titled the Family Guy Pipeline Incident, which piqued some interest as to why the term incident was included. Nobody really knew what this meant. This led many creators to make funny and entertaining parodies of the pipeline to build on top of this seemingly rabbit hole of Family Guy content. People have begun to notice this trend and found really creative ways to humorize those who found themselves stuck in the Family Guy pipeline. You're in the Family Guy pipeline. I really like this one. It's the realization you're stuck in the pipeline. I'm not a Family Guy TikTok clip. To another realization. No, no, no. And finally, the mastermind behind it all, Seth MacFarlane. Welcome to the pipeline, motherfucker. However, the joke didn't stop here. It wasn't soon after that people began to put a horror twist on videos found in the Family Guy pipeline. It's with you. 
Yup, I am not lying here. TikTok has somehow found a way to turn Family Guy clips into a horror rabbit hole. The videos appear just as normal. Then after 30 seconds or so, we'll turn to a jump scare or a piece of analog existential horror. What I also really love is the horror elements don't actually happen till about 45 seconds into the video. You might be asking, Pixels, why? Why would they do this? Why wouldn't they put it in the beginning so everybody would get scared before swiping away? You think the creators don't know about the pipeline? They understand very very well that if you make it 10 seconds, you're watching the whole clip. Just imagine you're sitting in your room at midnight, completely dark. You initially intended to set your alarm for the morning, but you accidentally opened TikTok and have been scrolling for an hour. You find a marble game featuring a Family Guy clip, and then... I've only actually encountered a few of these. You know, I've seen some naturally on my own and the few that I used earlier in this video. So I thought it might be a fun idea to go on TikTok and check some of these out. Let's check them out. Yeah, you get a sniff of that ass, Brian. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, dear Lord, no. Oh, God is punishing you. God is punishing you for your hubris. I, and it smells a lot better than I. <laughs> Everyone in the house. And this Adam West mouse. The bees making honey. This Tom Tucker buddy. We all sing with glee. Oh, no. What? What's happening? I thought I was just watching. Watching Family Guy. Ooh, who are you? Ooh. Who is this? Oh. Don't jump scare me, please. Oh, good. Normal Family Guy. Hey, Drippy, you're back. What's for dinner? Peter, when I said bond with Stewie, this is not what I had in mind. I am furious with you. I don't know how you received this message, but you need to wake up. <laughs> you are not who you think you are. You are Jack Thatcher. Who went missing December 4th, 2003. Oh my God, Boo Berry. That guy kind of looks kind of creepy, And you're huh? a ghost. Cause try to, that's the boo. Did you guys know you were doing that? Oh my god. Anyway, can I shake your hand? Why, why, why is this video just sent into, <laughs> into Family Guy reactions? I'm better than this. I've been touched by great- I'm, I'm just- This is how much of a hypnotic trance that this has. There isn't even a game playing on the bottom. What is it? Gr granting, granting wishes. Bridge race. Plus world markets. Welcome back, Lois. I cleaned and got groceries. But I'm afraid we have bad news. We- Oh, I, I was thinking it was the Jack Thatcher one again. What the hell happened? Ah! How do I walk? Are these forever? I also rubbed my <laughs> butt on you while you were on. Oh no! Oh no! Ooh, a text! I'm taking care of our problem. Hey, do you mind turning the volume of that gameplay down? We're kind of doing something here. We'll be together soon. Love, Gretchen. Huh. Meg, you're kind of a loner psychopath. What does this mean? Oh, this woman is clearly a spray lover. Who's <laughs> Did you throw up in the sink? Oh, I know this clip. This <laughs> this goes on forever. You guys are lucky. You guys don't have to watch all this. I do. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh my god! Oh Did my! Oh, holy shit! Holy! Oh! Oh dear fuck! You fucking ass! How, how did I know that? How? I, I, I'm so stupid. I'm fucking world's biggest idiot. Called well, Family Guy got Lost. You, oh, you. we're already getting somewhere. Family Guy got Lost you. episode. The volume's really low, and I feel like that's because it's gonna jump scare me. Tampon from last week, but the headaches are getting worse. Oh, there it is. There it is. But if you've got some milk and a bowl, we can give you a pretty healthy way to start your day. No one is here for you. What's happening? Don't trust the people you see. The eyes are too weak to 
stove. Okay, but be careful. I just mopped the kitchen floor. I love you. Stewie, oh, God. Go. <laughs> Family Guy this pipeline go. failure. Who am yeah, I, Peter? No, 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 oh, oh, really oh, this is really well done. Oh, look at this. They really use, like, computer science stuff in this. They really make it seem like a uh, internal technical failure. This is it's brilliant. This is, this is nothing but brilliance. <laughs> some of the files are Minecraft parkour, subway surface, just some of the random clips that get thrown in underneath the Family Guy videos. <laughs> wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Don't you think maybe it's time to call it a night? Yeah, sure. Hey, you ever seen a nard explode? A, a what? A what? A nod? I, I don't... Is that something on the internet? Because I... Ah, oh, damn it! What the hell? <laughs> nice shot there. Come on. Don't get mad, bro. I was just kidding. You were kidding? What was the joke? This was... Oh. Oh. Oh, that's loud. Number 15. Peter goes to Burger King and doesn't come back. What kind of pie is this? Is this Jack in the Box? <laughs> I heard um, Jack in the Box here. Yeah. How do you know if you're a lesbian? Introducing the new Fox <laughs> what's, what's, what's going on? Is that a commercial? Don't tell me about it. I can't tell you how tired I am of hearing Peter. Hello there. I apologize for the interruption. Hey, I my use that for my thumbnail Melissa, every now and, and then. After the miracle resurgence of the Family Guy, I honestly don't think it will ever die. So when TikTok goes and Peter lives on, I look forward to see how the Griffins will adapt to the next generation of media.